This video is a test of this uh, combination tape measure and uh, laser measuring device from Uptech. Okay, that's the contact information. I don't know how to pronounce the name Coes, I guess. Uh, I want to find out if this thing's any good. Now, it has a laser measuring device built in to the uh, tape measure. And I think that's kind of neat. I like that because it's useful for a number of things. What I'm going to do is go over how this thing works um, and if I think it works well. And I'll make a comparison to uh, something like this. That's a laser measurement. I'm not going to test this one, but uh, does it work as well as something like this? These are all tape measures. Well, this one doesn't have a tape, but uh, these are all, let's see, here's a Stanley, kind of the middle of the road, Klein, kind of high end. Pittsburgh, bottom end. Little doctor meter thing, doesn't have a tape on it. Uh, it's just a laser measure. This is a little different. This one's actually a tape measure because it actually has a tape. But it's also a laser measure. Okay, I thought this was kind of a neat idea that you could build a, a laser measure in with the tape measure. So I thought one of the things I wanted to do first was actually compare this tape measure to the rest of them uh, to kind of give you an idea of how well this part of it performs. And one of the primary things I look at on these tape measures is how stout the tape measure is itself and how far out it will go before it breaks over. So we're going to test that. What this test involves is I take a tape measure and I run it out until it pops over and then I measure how far out it went. Okay, like that. Okay, we're going to test this uh, El Cheapo Pittsburgh free one from, uh, and it's one inch, uh, Harbor Freight. Okay, now I'm going to go out. Okay, essentially a little under seven feet. The fairly high end Klein, uh, probably a little bit better. Actually, about seven feet, not much. And the combination laser. Okay. Okay. The combination laser one was actually better. It went out to effectively about eight feet. So, pretty good tape, as tape measures go. So we've established that the tape portion of this is actually pretty good. Now let's kind of look at this part of it here. This is the laser measuring. Now, it's showing uh, a number on there, and you can set it so that it measures from this end here or from this end uh, like right here it's showing it's measuring from this end and if I want it to go to the other end I go like that I, I'm actually pushing this hold button and you notice it's going to do an inside measurement which is going to measure from there okay uh, that's great, does wonderful. The next thing is, it has a laser, and the laser comes right out of there and is supposed to be measuring. Now, number one, is the laser light usable, uh, especially in uh, 
sunny days and the like. Well, I don't have a sunny day today, but I'll, I'll take it out and we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, here we are, kind of a cloudy day, but daytime. You should be able to see the laser light there. Now, that is at about 18 feet. Let's go out a little farther. Okay, at this point, I can still see the laser, and we're at 34 foot 8. It's getting pretty dim here, though. Okay. At 56, well, it's actually 75 feet, uh, I had a couple errors when I stretched the tape twi tight, I got 56 and 7. Long, long way off. So you can see what I'm actually doing. I'm taking this tape and I'm pulling it very tight. And then we're checking. Oh, 38 feet 11 and 7 sixteenths. Okay, uh, it's inaccurate at these distances, uh, pretty ridiculously so. Let's get a little closer and see how close I can get. Now that one's right in the money. I had it at 43.5 and it came out to 43.5 and a quarter. That was pretty close. As for operation of this thing, it's fairly simple. I showed you where it could measure from the back and the front. If you're wanting to make a laser measurement, you simply push the button. Okay, it's going to give you a number. Push it again, it blanks out. Like here. Okay, it's measuring to a file cabinet. And these seem to be pretty accurate. As for this little circle of stuff, that button there is what you're doing to make your measurements with. Hit it once, the light comes on. Hit it twice, the, uh, the measurement comes on. These are memories. There's two memories in there, obviously, whether you're in inches or centimeters. The whole thing mostly just moves. You can hold the the reading but if you hold it down it moves back and forth from here to here so it's either measuring from here or it's measuring from there that you know there's not much else to it pretty uh pretty simple operation now is this thing any good well the long distance measurements uh gave me fits compared to other laser measuring tools uh, without the tape measure it's fairly ridiculously inaccurate at longer distances it's actually fairly close uh, on the shorter distances but part of the problem is you can't see the laser at hardly any distance I mean you get past about 25 feet and the, the laser seems to uh, die off on you so you're not really sure where you're pointing it uh, so that in and of itself is a problem. I'm not sure any of them are much better than that. this one on that. For the close measurements, it's pretty much uh, right on the money. You notice it's 2 feet 4 inches there. And I actually took the tape and run it out to the, where the spot was, and it was 2 foot 4 inches. So it's, uh, it's probably pretty accurate there. Overall... Is this thing useful? Yeah, I, I think it's a neat idea. I will use it and uh, hopefully enjoy it for many years. I've had tape measures that I've used uh, to build houses with that I've had for 15 years. Uh, we'll see if this one lasts that long. The, the one concern I have is is this casing tough because it's going to get dropped a bunch of times and we'll see what happens there I'm not going to throw it on the ground and see if I can break it but uh, but uh, I I have no idea how long it's going to last there so uh, is this thing a good deal 
I like it. I mean, I'm a tape measure nut anyway. I got tape measures everywhere. So uh, I like this, the application where you can use the laser on it. So there will be times when I will find that useful. Just not at long distances. Uh, long distances are kind of problematic for this thing. It's the one other thing that's a little bit odd, it seems like the belt clip's on the wrong side. I guess it really doesn't make any difference because when you put it on your right side, maybe it's a left-handed tool, I don't know. But uh, I would clip it on my belt here and it's pointing backwards, which probably really doesn't make a lot of difference, but most of them are set up the opposite way. But other than that, uh, it's a cool tool. We'll see how long it lasts. Just don't try to use it for really long distances. That's it on this one.